Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about quantitative genetics and today's problem is in a population of mice the total genetic variance of adult body weight is 4 grams and the environmental variance is 12 grams. The broad estimate of heritability for this trait in this population is approximately and here is the 5 answers to choose from. If you know how to solve this problem and need a time uh, you may stop video here try to solve this problem on your own and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So today's problem is going to be very easy and you can solve it uh, under one minute but I want to give you a little bit more explanation and explain the difference between uh, narrow sense heritability and wide sense uh, heritability and give you one more formula. So the first formula would be total phenotypic variance. So V P that stands for the total phenotypic variance would equal to variance due to genetics plus variance due to environment. And this is understandable that uh, phenotype is due to genetics plus environmental influence. So the next formula would be narrow sense heritability and we use h small squared and here we would have variance additive divided by uh, total variance phenotypic. And uh, second formula or third formula would be uh, broad sense heritability. We use h uh, capital squared and here on the top we are going to get uh, warrants due to genetics divided by total phenotypic warrants. And what is the difference between these two formulas? And uh, here with uh, broad sense heritability we have uh, uh, warrants due to genetics that consist of three variances. So the first variance would be variance additive as in our formula above plus variance due to epistasis, variance i. We use uh, letter i here, not e because e is already reserved for the variance uh, environmental uh, plus variance due to dominance. So three, uh, do, uh, three variances make uh, one uh, variance genetic. So as you see uh, this is why we call this narrow sense heritability uh, to be uh, narrow sense because this is if you consider if this is going to be wide sense so this is going to be uh, narrow sense. And uh, now we can solve our formula and First of all, we have to use this formula for our calculations. So we have uh, 4 grams uh, total genetic variance. And this is going to be variance genetic. And uh, we also have uh, variance due to environment. That is 12 grams. And this is environmental influence. So we can put... 4 grams here and 12 grams here. So total phenotypic variance would be 16 grams. So now we can uh, use all this information uh, in order to solve this problem and we are going to use this formula for broad sense heritability. So H capital squared uh, would equal to variance genetics and this is 4 grams, so 4 grams divided by variance total phenotypic, that is going to be 16. So 14 divided by 16, this is going to be 0 0.25. And this is going to be our answer today. And as you see, uh, this is answer C. So I hope that uh, most of you solved this problem correctly and those of you who didn't know how to do it, now you have better understanding 
the difference between narrow sense heritability and broad sense heritability. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.